This is a letter written to Kim from her father, and it reads, Dear Kim, Receiving letters is nothing new for you. Maybe in this setting it will be a bit different, however. Since you knew what was going to happen during this youth conference, how is it going? Hopefully it has been a great experience thus far and will get even better at the end. Unfortunately, I had to write this letter several days before this conference. It would have been better had the writing been closer to the day you re read it. Do you know how much I love you? Do you have any doubt about our love for you? You better not. You are so special. Looking at pictures of you as an infant and seeing pictures as you grew is great. We now have a fantastic young woman in, on our hands that we want to help and prepare to send out into the world ready to face any and all challenges. Well, we will not have much more time to do it. You will not be around us much longer. A couple of years of high school and college with an interruption from a mission is about all we can count on. At this point in your life, the most important thing that I would like to see you acquire is a testimony of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It cannot be given to you. You must earn it. You have certainly been exposed to the teachings of the church. Now you must let those teachings grow within you. May I again relate one of those moments that I recognized that my testimony was growing. When I was a couple years older than you, I went to Europe in the summer of 1962. We were to stay three weeks in Grenoble, France, and study French. Having no exposure to the language, I did poorly and left the program. How I got permission, I do not recall, but I departed from Grenoble to Zollikofen, Switzerland, to visit the Swiss temple. Once I arrived at the temple grounds, I went into the chapel next to the temple. I was most happy to find English-speaking missionaries from the States. They were about to start a baptismal service of a German-speaking couple. Following the baptism, the missionaries asked me to bear my testimony. They translated it into German. I do not recall bearing my testimony before that time. I truly felt the spirit at the meeting, and as I bore my testimony, following the baptismal services, I walked around the temple and into a beautiful tall stand of trees behind the temple. I prayed. I can liken the situation and setting to where you are right now. I certainly neither heard nor saw anything, but the spirit was there and my testimony was strengthened. I then knew and could verbalize that I, in fact, had a witness of the restored gospel. My prayer is that you might feel that witness and that you will live as the Spirit directs. Kim, I love you and want only the best for you. Love, Dad.